Hey, what's up, Gamers Calamistic? Welcome back to another edition of Dead by Daylight, where as well as some, I must say, quite masterful escaping, we're going to have a little bit of a discussion this time. It is a discussion that has raged since the beginning of this game, back and forth, forth and back, and nobody really wants to admit it. The discussion is, who is really OP? The killers or the survivors? So let's go ahead now, proceed with the match, and we will talk about it. Uh, okay, we'll proceed with the match as soon as Skyfall Delta wants to actually click. Come on, ready? Come on. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. I promise. It's not too scary. Okay, I think maybe. That's the thing about these lobbies. You never know somebody's really, oh, whenever I'm running for my life. All right, here we go. Guys, at the beginning, let's, let's start with a little bit of history of this game. And in the beginning. There was light. <laughs> no, 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 not quite that far back. All right. In the beginning, we had our killers and survivors. And admittedly, the killers were, uh, how shall we say, lacking a little bit. They were okay, but the weaker killers cried and whined. I mean, the crying and whining was louder than the nursery ward at Chicago Memorial Hospital. You, it, it carried for leagues, ages. It carried so far that devs... Finally couldn't stand it anymore. They're like, shut up, kid. And they fixed up the killers a little bit. They gave them, I must say, more powers, more speed, more, 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 more. They gave them more to the point where survivors were like, wait, what? Damn it, man. This guy's too tough for me. And ever since that time, it has been a debate. Every time a survivor loses to a killer, they're like, man, you're too OP. This sucks. And then... Every time survivors outwit a killer, the killer's like, man, these killers need more power. That's not quite enough. Or the opposite. If a, ki uh, if a killer wins, survivor says he's OP, and killer says, no, no, man, it's not true. The survivors, if they got together, would be better. And there is the crux of the thing. One-on-one, -on -one, 1v1, of course, a survivor is not as powerful as a killer. It's designed that way. It's supposed to happen that way. It's designed to happen that way. Yes, of course. Here's where the problem relies. Here's the truth of the matter as far as I'm concerned. The killers are not OP. Okay, I know, I'm gonna be a bunch of survivors just like mobbing me right now. I can feel the beating coming. No, guys, honestly, the killers are not OP. It's simply this. Just like in every other game, the individual experience and skills of the player is what makes a killer quote unquote OP or not. At least at the beginning of the game. If you enter a game and you see two survivors down in the first minute, guys, it isn't because the killer's OP. It's because the survivor sucks it. Sucks it. If you are a decent survivor, you should not be found in the first minute and put down. I don't care what their perks are. I don't care what their, you know, I don't care how fast, like so, look, like so. And here I'm talking crap and I get hit. That's okay, yeah. Anyway, let me run a little bit. Let me run. Sorry for concentrating here go 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 gadget feet oh. yeah see there there there's a mark of a killer who is not very experienced he should have popped me right when i tried to jump through that window and i should get away from this should be able to yeah there we go okay now i can breathe for a minute yes the killers are not as op as you think however again with the individual skills if a killer is at least at least not half blind or brand new, if the player is not brand new to that killer, yes, guys, they're gonna be out there. They're gonna be out there in force. They're gonna look for you. They're gonna know how to look for you. They're gonna know how to cut you off. You as a survivor, you, trust me on this one, brother, you are not OP. Definitely not one-on-one -on -one against a killer. It's been my experience. Sure, there are a few survivors out there who can solo killers. There are, I mean, yeah, top grade players, sure. But the average person just starting this game is not at that level. And you will find 
for the most part that the group of survivors that you are starting with when this plays are not all pros. Okay. If you end up with a team that is all dead and you have no generators popped, well, that means that you're either not very skilled or intermediate or what have you, and the other players are even less so. Okay, you should not, as a team, as an entire team, die to the killer in the first two minutes. You should not. I mean, no. The way this is set up, this is, ba and guys, it is. It is balanced out. The way this is balanced out, you should, on an average run, be able to pop all your gens, get your door open, and two of the survivors die. That, that's about average. If you've got a great team, and you have at least an intermediate killer, well, you're gonna mop the floor. That killer's gonna be like, wait, what? Where, which way did they go, George? Which way did they go? And have no clue, and I've had matches like that. I've had matches where I never even heard the heartbeat. I mean, literally, never heard the heartbeat, because all you had to do was have it figure out from a general area where he did hit somebody, and stay the hell away. <laughs> That's all you have to do. That's the key to this. Now, that we've covered killers and survivors as individuals, there is the game mechanics. And you're like, well, what happened? This killer just suddenly got a lot better. No, he didn't. Guys, there are seven generators. There are seven generators on the map. You have to pop five. If you have popped four, and there are three generators left that are close together, all that killer has to do, and this is one of his advantages, all he has to do is patrol those three generators in a big circle, and keep an eye out for which one has been started up. And then he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, the little mouse is over here pecking at this. So let's come back to this one more often. Okay, it isn't that the killer is OP. It's like so, right here, here he comes. It's that the odds have been narrowed to be in the killer's favor once you pop more gins. It's a lot harder for him to maintain seven gins than it is to maintain three gins. Okay, it's a lot harder for, oh, oh shit. Come on, dude, come on. See, you should've got me right there. This is a killer who is like intermediate at best. Still on me pretty good though. Can he do it? Can he get his little skinny ass out of here? Uh, oh shit, I probably should've been up here, but yeah, he, he saw me. I was hoping he didn't see me, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> not the smartest move I ever did, but I was kind of counting on him being a, not the top level killer. He was just too fast for me. Yo, that killer's OP, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, he's not. No, he's not. I just screwed up by going up there. I shouldn't have done it. And hopefully my team is going to be brave and come down here and save my little narrow Levi's up off this hook. Oh, shit. They're way over there. As I was saying, anyway, as the time goes on, yes, the map slants more towards the killer. He has less gens to patrol, and he knows that you have to come to them. As if, of course... You're the last survivor, and there's only three gens. Well, of course, you're looking for that big, sweet, golden hatch. Yes, you are. If you got any sense, you are. Guys, please, if you're new to this game, I've got to tell you right now. Okay, if you're the last survivor, and there's three gens left, don't try to get them. Leave them the hell alone. Look for that beautiful, beautiful golden hatch, and get your little narrow out of here. Go to it. Okay, do not keep trying to pop gins. That is the worst thing. Whenever you're one v- Ah, thank you, sir. That was very brave of him. Whenever you are one v one in the killer, look for the hatch if you have the gins popped. If you don't have the gins popped, well, they are- the, 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 the status for that is called a shit sandwich with really, really running jelly. Okay, there we go. Okay, he didn't get me. <laughs> not this time. Anyhow, as I was saying, if you have three gens popped, that's what you do. You look very very carefully, very slowly. Do not run. <laughs> Walk, do not run, and find yourself the hatch. Because, like, there we go. Because popping those other gens while you are 1v1 in the killer with only three gens to go that are close together is what they call, again, a shit sandwich with the <laughs> jelly. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. Give me a minute here. 
We got the we got the freaking gate open. Anyhow, as I was saying about this whole thing. So next time when you think the killer is OP and has just downed you in two minutes, don't you know, don't harass the killer and say he's OP. You know, don't don't make it a bad situation. Examine your own skills. Examine your teammate skills. That is usually where the problem is, is either in you. Oh, yeah, I got the other door open. She's not nice. They either got the other door open. I mean, sorry. They either are lacking in skills and just didn't make the grade, or there's something that you missed, or what have you. You guys know with this game, there's a lot of ins and outs. It looks like a simple game on the face, but you've got to learn how to juke people. You've got to learn how to dodge. You've got to learn how to stay hidden. You've got to learn how to get people off the hooks without being areas. Damn, it. without being detected. I'm gonna save that guy, but here he was. Anyway, so there's my conclusion, guys. The killers are not OP. The survivors are not OP. The situation just varies as the gameplay goes, and that is the situ that is the nature of being a balanced game. Sometimes you win them. Sometimes you lose them. It's the individual skills, not what the players have or don't have so far as well, as far as characters go, that makes the difference. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, oh, dude's cussing me out. What? <laughs> Rude. No, no, that's, that's just wrong. Dude. Yeah, I was like the last one out, wasn't I? Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, good heart smash as well. Subscribe, share, and yell my name to everybody you know, because I would love to see more of you around here. Until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you, whatever else you do, always love the game peace by the way if you would like to see me stream this i stream on twitch pretty much every night look for me there same twitch name as my youtube channel i will see you there